Guys, you don't really understand how powerful this new transcribe audio feature in DaVinci Resolve for iPad and desktop even is. I mean, and I say that because it's so powerful that we have this now even on an iPad, not just on the desktop version. What am I talking about? A couple of days ago, I showed you one of the new functions of 18.5 transcribe audio. So for example, you have a clip and you can right click, transcribe audio, and then you basically the very first time it will run through the process, will transcribe your audio and you can use this feature to create subtitles, to create all different types of things from the audio or video that you have inside of your DaVinci Resolve. So what do I mean by that? Why is this so powerful? And why am I making a second video about this? Guys, if you go in here, I showed you already that you can now even select parts in this transcribe audio and put it onto your timeline. But there is an even powerful, more powerful feature that I totally forgot to show you. We have a search function. So I can search for whatever wo word I want in my text. And of course it doesn't find it. Why? Change, uh, I think I, s I didn't say change. Uh, change, let's say change and it finds it. And if I double tap here, it starts talking here in the video. So imagine you have a program that gives you all the transcription of your video or audio. You can make subtitles. Oh yeah, I showed you this one too, because the very first time when I showed you this, I used shortcuts in the edit page. And in the edit page, there is nothing to make those subtitles, right? But if you're here in the cut page, you can just come in here. And some couple of people in the comments actually showed me that. That was my problem because I was always working in the edit page, but they made the cut page now so much more stronger. So just coming up here in the cut page, and then you can create subtitles from audio, what everything is it. So how it works is you finish your video in the timeline and then you can just basically go in here, create subtitles from this video. But the most important thing I wanna show you today really is this transcribe audio again. You can have, let's say you have a documentary, you, you recorded a complete, like a seminar, 10 hours of footage, and you know that the speaker was talking about a certain type of topic, but now you don't have to go into the video and search for it. You can use the search function here and type it in and you will find it. And I want to address one more thing. I mean, I make my videos in German and in English. And of course, when I made the whole subtitle and audio transcribed to audio, I hate it. It's only in English right now. And I got so many comments now also under my videos. Uh, it's nice because it's in English, uh, but so it's nice to have, but it's in English. Can we do something? So I have no idea. I have, I looked into it to see the way I think it will work is that we can update language packs in the future, but at the moment or currently, as far as I know, it's only English, at least by standard, what we have in the program. I couldn't find, at least not in the DaVinci Resolve iPad version, where there is a folder or something where I could upload a language or something. I have no idea how long it will take if they update anything, but uh, come on, uh, I think DaVinci Resolve itself is translated in different countries. So I think this is, yeah, I hope it's just an, a pack that we can download and then one day we can also use the different languages. And I mean, it affects a lot of people. That's why I'm talking about this now because here on my channel, 20% is US based. I see this on YouTube. 10% is India and then it's all worldwide. It's not even that it's all German because German have my own channel, right? It's all over the world. So, and I totally understand you and I have the same problem for my German channel. And even when I was talking about this feature, it was nice to show them that we have something like that, but we can't really use it in a different language language except of English right now. But this is basically the point that I'm also trying to make. Maybe look at this more as, whoa, what is up to coming? You know, like even the people on the desktop are amazed about this feature. And now think about it. We as the iPad community, we got this as well. It's not like 10 versions later and they brought this to the iPad. No, we have it immediately. So whenever there is a new language pack or someone figures out how to make this for a different language, maybe it's easy, maybe don't, I don't know. If maybe you know something, please let me know in the comments. But the point is how powerful this is in the hands of all of us here with DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. This is the one thing I wanted to share you share with you today. I hope you liked this video. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding a bang bang gong. And if you haven't updated to the newest version, what are you waiting for? Version 18.5. See you tomorrow. Bye.